know, the goal that we have every year is to, to win a conference, to get to the NCAA tournament. You know, our goal, you know, is to win a national championship with our women's soccer program here at Stevenson. So, um, you know, we go into every season hoping to, you know, hoping to win, uh, and hoping to win the conference and get that AQ bid. If not, then we want an at-large bid by winning the out conference games. Um, we need to start off better. You know, the last two years, our September's have not been good. Um, and that can uh, lower the confidence in some players when you're losing games. Um, so the key for us is really to get off to a good start. And we're going to take it one game at a time. Um, we've got to stay grounded. Last year we were the defending champions and I think that got to our heads a little bit and we thought we were going to breeze through the season again and, and, and be right there with Messiah and it didn't work out that way. So this year is to take it one game at a time and, and get some results in September. And if we can do that, then we'll be ready for our conference matches in October and that should set us up for the playoffs. We do have experience in the midfield with Jordan Pareto coming back. Um, she's now a graduate student so she's able to come back for her fifth year. And um, we also have Alexis Sajak, her other captain, who's going to be one of our forwards. We return Kellen Whitman, um, our top goal scorer over the last two years. Um, we return our starting goalkeeper, Tiffany McKee. Um, so those are the key players, you know, right down the middle of the field that will help us, as well as, um, you know, um, other players that have started a lot. Sam Hooker from last year, who was a freshman that played almost every game. Um, Brittany Solano on the outside, Morgan Carey, Shannon O'Grisco. So we actually um, return a good amount of starting, starting players. Uh, and then we'll be looking to fill the gaps left by Ali and Emily with um, some of the new players or returning players. Yeah, the, uh, you know, the freshmen have really you know, stood out over these first few days as well as the transfers because they've came in, they're coming into a team that has um, good unity and a, a positive team culture. And you know, it's been great to see our returning players really kind of mentor the younger players. Um, you know, they've been having lunch together, dinner together, they've been supporting each other, um, especially since preseason is always tough with two practices a day. Um, so they've really helped, helped the confidence, I think, of the younger players feel you know, part of the team right away. Um, and so you know, we're excited for the freshmen to, you know, to really step up as well as the transfers. And I think with the experience we have um, and the positive team culture, we can really you know, have a, a, solid, a solid team this year.